What is an eighth note? Before we discover eighth notes, make sure you have a good understanding of quarter notes. If you don't know what that means, click the screen now or look in the description box below for my previous video on quarter notes. All of our exercises today will be in 4-4 time. That means there are four quarter notes per measure. Remember, the counts start over after four beats. To understand eighth notes, it's really important that you tap your feet to feel the pulse. Let's review two measures of quarter notes by clapping, tapping, and counting out loud. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, two, three, four. Did you feel the space between each quarter note? When your foot is in the up position, that is the second half of the beat, which is where we're going to add eighth notes. There are two eighth notes in each quarter note. An eighth note is half of a quarter note. Let's talk about these stems. When you have an eighth note by itself, meaning there is not another eighth note right after it, it will have a flag like this. When you have two eighth notes next to each other, they will be beamed together. They're counted exactly the same. Many people think an eighth note gets eight beats or one eighth of a beat, but that's wrong. It's called an eighth note because there are eight of them in one measure. However, you would most likely see these eighth notes look like this. We count eighth notes by using numbers, just like we counted quarter notes, but adding the word and when your toe is in the air. In musical notation, or music writing, we use a plus sign instead of the word and. The trickiest part about this exercise is only tapping your foot when you say the numbers and clapping your hands when you say the numbers and the ands. Confusing? Yes, it takes practice. Here's a hint. Make sure your toe is up when you say and. Let's try. We'll start easy. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four. How did you do? Now, make sure you did not double tap your foot on the and of three. When you have eighth notes, you must divide the beat instead of adding an extra foot tap. Make sure you keep your feet steady by only tapping on the numbered beats. These are called down beats. That makes sense because they happen when your foot is down. Here are a few more exercises. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four. Ready, go. One, and two, three, four. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, and. Ready, go. One, two, and three, and four. Ready, go. One, and two, three, and four. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four. Great job. Check out the rest of the rhythm exercises on this channel for more practice.